Living in the light of the face of God is broken up into five parts, each of which has a few smaller parts. William M. Simons writes in order and goes into detail about every subject he talks about. With this part, a person can learn more about the Lord. The author starts by going back to the book of Genesis to show how powerful God is. He made the whole world and everything in it, including people. So, we can see that God is the best. William takes us back to when Mary and Joseph found out they were going to have a baby. When Christ was still in her womb, the first woman felt a connection to him. Mary knew that her child was very important to the whole world. The author talks about the Ten Commandments. He says that the first three are about how we should treat God. The other seven have to do with how we treat each other. Also, when we pray, we show that we believe in God. We also believe that the Lord will do what we ask. We get close to God through prayer. We learn that how we feel affects how close we are to the Lord. I like the lesson on having faith and being humble. William tells us the story from the Bible about Simon and how he met Jesus while he was fishing. He hadn't caught a single fish all night. After meeting Christ, though, his net was so full that it almost broke. We can tell that Simon is humbled by what he says and does. We need to come to God with an attitude of gratitude. For example, during prayer, a simple thank you can go a long way. God has given us food, kept us healthy, and let us breathe air for free. That is something to be thankful for. The Martha syndrome was a subject that stuck with me. William tells us about the story of Mary and Martha, who were sisters. Mary listened carefully to Jesus while Martha was taking care of the housework that comes with being a good hostess. Martha was very important, but she missed the chance that Jesus' presence gave her. I can say the book has been edited by a professional because I found only one mistake. Some things, like the Pascal mystery and other quotes, were hard for me to understand. That was something I hated. But that didn't change how much I liked it because I learned more about how to connect with God. So, I give the work four out of four stars. I would suggest it to people who want to learn more about God and how to get closer to Him.